Hi everyone, for subject AQ 137 today, we will discuss about the management factor of the fish larvae until broodstock. The content in this video is broodstock management and incubator substrate, breeding stages, atenia and microworm, also larvae care and water management. This is our group members. Broodstock management. First, for broodstock management, to culture a catfish, we need to identify ways to manage them to avoid from dying or get any disease. The selected fish should be in a good health, no wound, no parasite or body deformation. If fish got disease, quarantine by dipping the broodstock in fresh water and treat them with furanix 50 ppm for 30 minutes in quarantine tank. This image shows the difference between males and females breeder. For their feeding section, either you use dry pellet or live feeds, you need to wave the fish first, then multiply 30% of the wave to get the proper balanced diet. Feed them twice per day. Next is the making of incubator substrate. Incubator substrate for hatching eggs as function to separate the non-hatching and hatching eggs. You need a PVC pipe and connectors, hatching net, plastic rope tie, and basin. Cut the PVC pipes according to the basin size and connect them with connector. Do not forget to make a hole at the PVC pipe to give enough aeration. Tie the PVC pipe with hatching net and put in the basin. Make sure the half of the hatching net will sink and the half side is floating to give enough oxygen. Breeding stages For the second topic is breeding stages. The broodstock can be placed in a round tank. Egg development will occur and it can be used again about 6 weeks after a female has spawned. From the breeding ponds, the selection of females is transferred to the holding tank. A well distended and slowened abdomen showed by the mature female African catfish. Rib eggs are generally uniform in size. The injection of hormones to the female commonly used in catfish breeding. The breeder's head is covered with a wet towel to keep it calm during the injection. After the proper hormone dosage has been delivered, cycle of final maturation and ovulation cannot be prevented or reversed. The male was killed and the body surface is thoroughly clean after which the testis was dissected and put in a mortar or teacup by softly rubbing female's belly with hand from the pectoral fin to the genital papilla, stripping female spawner is achieved and collected in a dry plastic tub. Using a knife, the testis was sliced into small pieces and was squeezed out with a small net or a piece of fabric. The sperm is added to the strip eggs and was added equivalent amount of clean water. The mix must be stirred properly to avoid stick together. After 1 minute, the sperm has lost its activity. The fertilized eggs are then ready for incubation in tanks. Atomia and microworm. As for Atomia, two large plastic bottles, airstone, aeration system, and tube was needed. This is the process where we will culture branch shrimp for post larvae feed. Artemia cystopoli are notable as the ideal life nourishment for the principal phases of larval shrimp. It is imperative to take care of Artemia nopoli at the earliest opportunity for the growth of the fry. This was produced at point when conditions are great. Female saltwater shrimp produce slender shell eggs that bring forth right away. In any case, when food is scanned or salt level are rising, they resort to backup plant which they produce hard shell seeds, every one of which contain a close completely created hatchling. After 12 hours, the brine shrimp was ready to serve for a baby fish. Microworms are the ideal size recently incubated fry and are intended to take care of fish that are too little to even consider accepting the conventional food, for example, pellet and drops. This live food will move in the water which triggers the eating reflex of the infant fish. Microworms are fundamental and incredible beginnings to a fry solid eating routine. For microworm culture, you just need some potatoes, just cut the potato into half and make a hole inside it. After that, place the potatoes in soil that you have dug. After a week, you can come back for the microworms. 
The larvae care and water management. Water quality is the most important factor affecting fish health and performance in aquaculture production system. Different fish species have different and specific range of water quality aspect. Some of the aspect is Temperature, it controls the rate at which food is transformed into energy which will affect breeding, body growth and physiological behavior. An increase in water temperature will decrease the dissolved oxygen content in water that will increase the fish metabolic rate and demands for oxygen. The bacteria will occur in water stress, limited growth and increasing carbon dioxide. pH at some pH values can even kill the fish. African catfish can tolerate with higher pH. However, poor water with pH unfavorable for fish production can be corrected by adding line or use the fertilizer to the point. Next, dissolved oxygen level can be measured by titration method, diaphragm electrode method, fluorescent method using the ohmmeter or based on physical observation. Fish will display some behavior if they experience lack of oxygen. This will lead changes in activity, increased use of aquatic surface respiration and vertical or horizontal habitat changes of the fish. For the African catfish, farmer had to maintain dissolved oxygen levels at between 4 mg per liter to saturation level in the pond. Water hardness is the measure of total water soluble salts. Water that contain many salts is called hard and water that contain few salts is contain soft water. Next, ammonia and nitrogen that come from pellet or fish waste may cause problems to the fish if we not take care of it. If the amount of ammonia is too much, the fish will go away from the water surface. Eventually, they will become chemicals and die. It is good to always test the water every week for ammonia level to prevent this from happening and also because the larvae are sensitive to any water changes. Ammonia level can be determined by using ammonia test strip kits or salicylate ammonia test. The conclusion is, all of fish from small to adult requires high attention from all factors necessary for good growth and quality, also quantity of fish. This will prevent disease to occur and balance the essential need of human. Measurement of water and food must be done correctly. Thank you for your attention!